good morning already and ready for another devotional. Uh, today we'll be reading out of John 12, verses 20 through 36. Now there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the feast. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with the request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew, and Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant will also be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my heart is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it's for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there heard it and said it had thundered. Others said it, an angel had spoken to him. Jesus said, this voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. But I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law that the Christ will remain forever, so how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus then told them, You're going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. The man who walks in the dark does not know where he's going. Put your trust in the light while you have it so that you may become sons of light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. This is kind of an interesting passage in a, in a number of ways. The, the, what's most interesting to me is it seems as if Jesus uh, misses the point. Uh, the disciples have bought, brought some Greeks to him, and these are apparently learned guys that have come to Jerusalem for the feast, and, and they're wanting Jesus to impress them, and they're wanting Jesus to connect to them, and, and Jesus just abruptly changes the subject and begins to talk about the cross. And I think what you see here is distractions. Uh, Jesus could be distracted by the celebration. Jesus could be distracted uh, by the Greeks. Jesus could be distracted by the questions that are being asked of him, but Jesus has one thing on his mind, and it's the cross. And as he's entering into this, this holy week, as he's, as he's nearing the cross, Jesus is intent on being obedient to the will of the Father, even to the point of the cross. And the question I have for us this morning is, what are our distractions? What, what's keeping us from finding the Father's will and following it? Is, it? is it the distractions all around us that is taking our attention, or is it the Father's will that's driving us where he wants us to be? Have a blessed day.